In an earlier edition, Motoring Forum discussed the backlog in the issuance of motor vehicle license plates from the point of view of the Commission on Audit. This edition will focus on what the Land Transportation Office is doing about the backlog. The Commission on Audit 2022 report on the Department of Transportation painted an unflattering picture on the performance of one of its line agencies, the Land Transportation Office, with regard to the backlog in the issuance of motor vehicle license plates. The report said there remains a backlog of millions in both replacement license plates for motor vehicles and new license plates for motorcycles, already paid for by registered vehicle owners. The COA report also indicated that the LTO will be hard-pressed to address the backlog for lack of funding, mainly because the Department of Budget and Management didn't approve or release the amount for the manufacture and issuance of license plates requested by the agency. Perhaps in reaction to the COA audit being reported in media, DOTR Secretary Jaime Bautista detailed plans to issue millions of plates to motorists by year-end. Bautista pointed out that the DOTR and the LTO have signed a 3.898 billion peso contract with Trojan Tonjes joint venture for the delivery of millions of license plates. He added that the DOTR was also in talks with the plate making plant to resolve the backlogs within the year. The DOTR expects to get and issue 6,000 pairs of license plates weekly and later 500,000 in a month. Secretary Bautista revealed that the plate-making plant has been working with some underperforming machines that it only averaged making 16,000 plates a day. The DOTR is working to fix those underperforming machines to be able to reach a daily capacity of 29,000 plates. LTO officer in charge Hector Villanueva was also quoted in the news reports as saying that the backlogs will become a part of ancient history once the plate-making production goes on full swing. In contrast to the COA audit, Bautista reported that the backlog in license plates has been reduced to only 1,700 for four-wheeled motor vehicles and 3 million for motorcycles. The huge disparity between Bautista's count and the COA's audit may be easy to explain. The COA specified around 2.5 million pairs of motor vehicle replacement plates already paid for by car owners upon renewal of registration still have not been released since 2015. The disparity between Bautista and the COA audit on the reported backlog in motorcycle plates, 3 million to 11.8 million, is more difficult to explain. During the previous administration, then DOTR Secretary Art Tugade indicated in various reports that it was more concerned with meeting the demand for license plates of newly registered vehicles rather than replacement plates. Even before that, the problem of the backlog started when the COA also questioned the plate supply contract with the Filipino Dutch Consortium as part of the 3.8 billion peso five year motor vehicle license plate standardization program of the Aquino administration. This led to consequences that included hundreds of thousands of plates being held at customs and the Supreme Court stopping the plan to have the BOC donating them to the LTO, a solution dreamed up to solve the backlog. After the Duterte administration entered into an agreement with the new supplier for license plates, the Supreme Court ruled the supply contract with the Filipino Dutch Consortium was legitimate and the COA lifted its disallowance. It is hoped that the DOTR and the LTO have learned lessons from how the backlog began and was exacerbated to prevent it from happening again with license plates and other things like driver's license cards. That's our Morning Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.